Hi everyone, we're going to do a quick setup guide for Pyle's new IP cameras, PipCam 8, PipCam 5, and PipCam 15. All these cameras are going to be set up the same exact way. So to start off, connect your DC power adapter into the nearest outlet. And uh, in the back of each camera, you're going to see three different ports. One's labeled DC here, and that's going to be on the far right. And uh, yes, they all do look the same, but only one is for power. The other two are labeled audio and mic. I'm going to connect that in, get the camera power. And uh, while we're at it, we can connect the camera's Wi-Fi antenna that came in the package. Just screw that into the back here. So to set this camera up, we have to do it through a wired connection first. So go to your router, and off the back of it, you can attach the included LAN cable. We're going to attach the wired LAN cable into the rear of the camera. With the cable attached, you should see some light response in the back here, showing the camera's receiving data. You will see the camera begin to blink, and then it will run through a setup rotation through the full range it can move. Do not disturb the camera while it's doing its reboot process. It'll take about a minute. Once the camera's finished rebooting, now we can set it up in the application. On your iPhone or Android phone, Download the Pile IP app. You now, if you can't find it in the Google Play Store, I recommend searching for it on the computer. That's where I actually found this version. So the interface is simple. It gives you a space to see the cameras you have connected, and it also allows you to add the cameras. Now, each camera has a unique QR code on the bottom of it. In order to add the camera, select QR code, Once you've scanned the code, you'll see the UID of the camera appear on the application. Now, you simply need to type in the camera's password. By default, all the passwords are six zeros, so it's zero, 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 zero. Select OK, and then switch to the camera mode. The camera should appear and also show that it's online. Now swiping allows you to move the camera right from the app. Next we can connect the Wi-Fi. Hit the arrow on the camera and go into advanced settings. Here you can change your password and also adjust a variety of settings in the camera. Go to the Wi-Fi setting. Click on the SSID and then select your Wi-Fi then select the Wi-Fi service you have. You will have to type in the password. Once you've completed the password, hit the Save button, and then hit Back. Plugging in the Wi-Fi setting will cause the camera to reboot. This could take another two minutes. The camera will run through its entire range on the motor. Once it's completed its reboot cycle, you can disconnect the internet cable from the back to use the wireless connection.